and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at the RPG skill add-on. Now this is like a really cool idea in my opinion, you know, adding like skills and level up, up and like abilities and stuff to Minecraft. Um, but it obviously it depends on how they handle it. Oh, you're in trouble, Spider. Killed. Don't know if you can see it, but these just killed up and sh the snugly doable. Anyway, um, so yeah, I hope this has some good stuff so I can give it a glowing review. Uh, but you know, if it doesn't, then obviously that's gonna be disappointing because this has a lot of potential, in my opinion. So, let's take a look at this, shall we? Oh, explore. So apparently, you can get XP for exploring by running around by the looks of it. So, the RPG skill add-on adds 9 skills and 27 unique abilities to the game that can uh, be leveled up by the player and enhanced answers everyone's gaming experience. In this menu you can find everything you need to use in this add-on. You've got skills, the guide, settings and resets. So settings, uh, before you change settings make sure you know what you're doing at the settings that will not influence this at the core gameplay but may still affect your experience as some settings that may slow down val validations etc. Make sure to press the submit button there before you change it. So you've got like Reduce validations, integrate, integrate other add-ons. Oh, that's cool. Show particles, double jump. Oh, double jump. Slower, double click detection, explorer, XP bar, explore, explosion, block damage, fire block damage, ability unlock message, announce level up, and target players with abilities. So I'm not going to change any of that. Uh, guide. Okay, so this... Uh, okay, so... In the RPG uh, skill add-on, there are nine unique skills that, to, you, that I can uh, find all information on in the skill page. Each skill has a passive ability that uh, will be automatically leveled as you proceed. Additionally, every skill has three abilities that can be... Uh, Progressively unlocked and leveled up. You can select one ability at a time. Some abilities have to be enabled. You can find find information on how to enable these on the skill page. Some features can be disabled in the settings. Yeah, we already had a look at that. If you ever lose this book, you can simply craft a new one by combining a book with a pickaxe of any type in your crafting grid. Please note that the uh, pickaxe will be lost. So you have skills. There's mining. The mining skill that can be leveled uh, by uh, breaking blocks using your pickaxe or different uh, blocks. Uh, given uh, you have a different amount of uh, skill XP, you uh, can access this menu uh, through the add-on book or by uh, double right clicking with a pickaxe uh, while sneaking. So uh, if I just give... Give myself a diamond pickaxe, give a key diamond pickaxe. So shift double right click, there we go. Mining, level zero. The mining skill can be leveled up by breaking blocks using your pickaxe. Different blocks give you different mining XP. Uh, passive, when breaking odds, there is a 0% chance that an additional item drops. This rate increases as you level up, so it, it basically gives an extra uh, the ch uh, a percent chance for an extra drop, drop the more you level up. Abilities. Ability user can be enabled manually by uh, the player. You will unlock more abilities as you level up. You can uh, read more about uh, your abilities or select one using the buttons below. Sneak uh, tries while holding a pickaxe or, or double right click to enable your ma- Oh, so you, you don't have to sneak it. So it's either double sneak or double right click, I think. Level 5 gives you haste, level 15 gives you all radar, and level 30 gives you super break. So haste, all, so haste, haste, level 0, so level 1 plus 5 seconds, 1 haste level, minus 15, 
Nice cooldown. More duration, more duration. So when enabling this ability, the player will receive haste to for 10 seconds. After enabling this ability, it will uh, be on cooldown for 60 seconds. You can upgrade this ability by... Uh, you ability using the experience levels. Upgrade this ability to level 1. That uh, will cost you 5 XP levels. You uh, currently have 5 experience levels. Uh, so I haven't unlocked it yet, so I can't upgrade it. Then there's the All Radar. When enabling this ability, an area of 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine blocks around the uh, player will uh, be scanned for ores. After enabling this ability, it will be on cooldown for 30 seconds. You can upgrade this ability with experience, blah blah blah, so it's like less cooldown. Tracking diamond, tracing diamond ore, 5 cooldown. Tracing ancient debris, 10 second cooldown. And then there's Super Break. Uh, when enabling this ability, the player will uh, mine in a 3x3 three three, uh, block radius. When they're breaking uh, stone blocks, the, uh, the ability lasts 5 seconds. After enabling uh, this ability, it will be on cooldown for 120 seconds. You can upgrade this ability using experience, so less cooldown, uh, more du duration, less cooldown, more duration, less cooldown, more duration. So let's go do some mining. Uh, so let's just jump down here. So does this work with my 3x3 three three pickaxe? It does. Don't know if it's doing... If it's counting all nine blocks. So let me just go through here and just mine up a bunch of stuff. It also said that different mining different things give you gives you different uh, XP. So let's actually go down to Oh Explorer is now level one. Let's go down to Deep Slate. Yeah, this is messed up. And let's mine some Deep Slate. The mining's now level one. Keep holding forward, I should. Level 2. And I'm in lava. Hold on. Game moves. There we go. You move to zero. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mine so fast the gravel could fall to stop me. Uh Ooh, more diamonds. Oh, and lava. And the warden's here. Great. But yeah. Uh, now if I right click. No ability. Yeah, there we go. So, ah. No, I know I'm not hit. Doesn't tell you what level you need to be to unlock these abilities. Oh yes, it does. Level five it unlocks haste, so I need to be level five to unlock haste. So let's go in this direction. Explore two, mining two, uh, three. Sorry. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of mining, then I'll be right back when I'm level 5. Alright, so I'm level 5 now. Uh, if I could tab into the, uh, if I could get into the right one, that would be yeah, great. So, uh, if I go to here, level 5, if I can select haste, select ability, and then I can enable ability, so that gave me if I tap haste 2 for 10 seconds. Oh, that's not good. So, if I double shift, uh, cooldown is uh, 40, 30. Thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four. Oh, let me just while I'm here. XP at uh, amount. Sorry, one hundred L at P. Oh no, command X. Oh, uh, I've got space there. There we go. 100 levels. And then let's do a thousand levels. Yeah, there we go. Now it's 111. There we go. You double shift, and the day you've got your ability. You enable your ability. And now you mine super fast. And the. Uh, um, double. Uh, and you can also just uh, double click with your pickaxe if you want and then you can level it up so as like I said 5 seconds duration haste level oh, less cooldown more duration and less cooldown Uh, does it work with this? Oh yeah! So it's still cooldown 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So yeah, get haste for 30 seconds, haste 3 for 30 seconds now. And it lets you mine real fast. So now I need to do. Uh, I need to get to all radar, which is level fifteen. So I'll be back once I have unlocked that. Right. So I uh, got to level fifteen. I just set up a command block here. Repeatedly set an aviation debris. Uh, actually, I could probably, yeah, actually, if I just, game mode, hold on. I have the 3x3 pickaxe, so I can make this fast, even faster, just by making it, uh, instead of set a block, just, fill, from there, to, Wiggle, free, wiggle, free, wiggle, free. Nope, what? Unexpected real go free. One, two, three, one. There we go. That should work. Oh. oh, I see what happened. I accidentally put a space between a wiggle and a free. Yep. Eh, uh, kind of messed up, but that's fine. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll work. Anyway, so now I'm level 15. So now I can unlock the all, I can utilize the all radar ability. So select ability. 
So let's skew it down into the... If we can get through the door... God damn it. Yeah, go down. Here. Um... It's just like one over here where I've not done any mining. Uh, so. Oh, it shows that there's an ore down here somewhere. Yeah, lapis ore. That, uh, that's actually pretty cool. So, it so if there's ore nearby, it shows you where that ore is. Let's get rid of this lapis ore. Yeah, so it's on a cooldown. Three, two, one. So I found some redstone up here. That's actually really cool. I really like how they've implemented this. Um, definitely worth it when you get to like higher levels. Um. Oh, wait, I'm in creative mode. Still game mode zero. Oops, a daisy. Anyway, um, yeah, now let's take a look at it uh, leveled up. So, shift, double right click. So, all radar. So, let's cool down. Now we'll find diamond ore. Let's cool down. Now we'll find ancient debris. And let's cool down. So, uh, no ores nearby, so let's just like run down here. So, what if there's two ores in the same area? Yeah, it'll just point to one ore and not the other ore. So, using. The, oh, there's even more redstone back here. Uh, so, using this in an area. Uh, if you're using this ability, it would be a good idea to like, uh, just keep using it until it says that there's no more ore. So we see that I can't see any more ore. Oh, there's more ore over here. I'll just go over here, mine this up. Okay, is there any more ore? Nope, no ores nearby. Let's move on. Oh, some diamonds here that I missed earlier. See, oh, yeah, and gold. And obviously, same for like Asian debris, you know, just you do a bit of mining, you scan scan for Asian to debris, uh, scan for ores, keep doing that till you can't find any more ores, mine a bit more, and it, uh, scan for ores until they can't find any more ores, rinse and repeat. That is a really good um, ability. I, li I really like that. Um, I'm just going to throw this command block in there with the cobble deep slate. And that gravel can go in there as well. And I'll just dump these in here for to be sorted out later. I made a lot of diamonds from doing this review. Usually I lose diamonds doing reviews. Uh oh, that's, oh, it's just why isn't oh no I don't want to destroy them. Yeah. Right. So I have got to level up to level 30 to get super breaker yeah i'm gonna be here a while um so yeah i'll see you once i've got that unlocked so yeah uh be happy All right i'm back with a full inventory of asian debris like no joke uh, my inventory is, uh, you can see like just Asian debris float, 
floating around me because my inventory is just full of them. But I got the Super Breaker unlocked at level 30. Now that that took a, that that did take a while to do. Like I can't imagine how long it would take to do an actual survival because uh, I was mining free like 18 ancient debris every second doing this basically. Uh, but yeah, uh, f uh, radius when breaking the blocks. This ability lasts five seconds. So let's go shoot this off. At least I'm getting the explorer while I'm doing this. Don't know how I'm gonna cheese the explorer level up. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I also muted Minecraft because I had a video on in the background. Philip Philly watching Bear Philly D getting updated with the news. So I'm just gonna go. Go here, so double right click with my like, regular diamond pick, and now I'm mining in a 3x3 three three area. And now I don't. And then you can get this leveled up. So you, so you level up, so Longer duration, less cooldown. More duration, less cooldown, more duration. So let's try it now. Oh my god, it has such a long cooldown. Uh, so uh, that's probably the just left over from like the cooldown from when I used it. So it probably not going to be that long. That's like a hundred seconds cooldown or something. Get down, this has a long cooldown. Yeah, okay, this is gonna take a while. Uh, so right now my main criticism with this ability is that it is really late on, like you do have to mine a lot of stuff, and it's also um, very, um, like, I, it's, it's pretty underpowered, like, uh, there are, like, thankfully this does support other, like, add-on pickaxes, but, like, the multiple pickaxes is a lot easier to get, so I feel like this ability could do with a few changes. So here, yeah. so what I would do is I would make it make the cool make it just be a passive ability, so that you wouldn't have to act. So like once you select it, it's always on, and then you can unselect it to turn it off, and then just and then for the levels, make it to, so says so it's like so like this is three by three. Then you can upgrade it to be a 3x2, three by, three by and a 3x3x3, three by three by three, so you mine a big like 3x3 three three cube area. And then maybe you have the, have these last two be the last, so like maybe you have like level 5 be the big 3x3, three three, have level 3, three be the 3x3x2, three by, three by have level 1 just uh, have these uh, be like I don't know. It's very hard to me because it maybe have it or maybe uh have it still have it be like an activated ability or just like have the cooldown be like uh very little and just have it so that uh that that they just like it, uh, extend the time. So it's just like have it be like very little cooldown. So you don't have to like really have the cooldown and replace the cooldown. Uh, replace the cooldown with like a 3x3x2 three by three by and a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Or something. So yeah, now I can mine. Ah! If I don't fall in lava, even further. 
hit you. Yeah. It's a cool, uh, cool ability, just not really a fan of, like, just such a long cooldown. The cooldown really needs to be reduced, in my opinion. The cooldown is basically what kills this ability, especially compared to like other add-ons uh, that uh, have uh, uh, like 3x3 three three mining capabilities, but they just don't have the uh, extremely long cooldown. And the fact that it's... Um, the last ability also makes it so that it's also makes that a uh, bit uh, underpowered for what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Honestly, that's more than more than ever I'm ever gonna use or Asian death freeze. Right, so, uh, next up, so there's skills, so there's mining, next up we're going to do Lumberjack. The Lumberjack skill uh, can be a level that by breaking wood blocks uh, using your axe. Logs will give 5 EXP, you uh, can access this menu through the add-on or, or book or by uh, double right clicking with an axe while sneaking. Passive when breaking logs, there is a 0% chance that an additional item drops. This rate increases the more you level up. So we have a lip, have abilities, so there's regrowth. Uh, while this ability is selected, if the uh, bottom stem of a tree is broken, a uh, sapling will automatically be uh, replaced. Additionally, there is a 30% chance that pear bone meal for Per chance, per bone meal for bone meal to uh, drop depending on the ability level up to up to three. So yeah, so ten, drop chance, bone meal, drop chance. So yeah, so this basically automatically, so that'll uh, automatically replan that uh, uh, saplings and sometimes you get bone meal back from bone mealing a sapling. There's lumber luck. Uh, the how am I in mining? I think it's a bit bugged with the uh, Obnite tool because it's both a pickaxe and an axe uh, and, a, and it sees that so it opens both of them I guess. Give at P diam, diamond axe. So lumber look. Uh, while this ability is selected, there is a 50% chance that logs that you break drop XP orbs. Ah, oh, so you can get XP from dropping logs. You can upgrade this ability using experience levels. In there. So yeah, 10, just adds 10% chance plus 1 XP orb plus 20% chance. So you can upgrade it to upgrade by 30, 50% chance. So you, yeah, you can upgrade it up to 100% chance. And last but not least it is Tree Fella. Uh, when enabling this ability, all logs uh, connected uh, to a log that to the player breaks will also be broken. The ability lasts 5 seconds after enabling this ability. It will be on cooldown for 90 seconds. And yeah, less cooldown, longer duration, less cooldown, longer duration, less cooldown. So what I'm going to do is... Oh my god, so much Asian dead break. I'm going to gather up the station debris that's left over. There's a spider somewhere and I'm just going to go drop this over here. Got almost an entire inventory full of Asian debris. Anyway, so I'm going to go to ga game mode one. There's a zombie over there. I'm going to change this from Asian Debris to 
O A K underscore log. Thing is that. Okay, set block. O A K. Oh no. Oh right, yeah, bear, bear, bear. Log. O A K. Log. Yeah, it's just oak underscore log. O A K log. Zero blocks. Oh right, yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess I just didn't see it change. See me. Anyway, so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get the Ascend... The Essentials book. And I'm going to turn... Oh wait, does Block Breaker work for... Yeah, that's Stone Breaker, blah, 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 Sand Breaker, Leaf Breaker, Tree Breaker. Wait, if I turn Leaf Breaker off, I think I should, if I get a Leaf Block. Oak Leaf. I put Leaf there. I think if I go to Game Mode Zero, I break that. Okay. Well, that's sort of, yeah, that's not really working because, ow. <laughs> Lily, stop it. I sort of created it, okay. Game mode one. Okay, that did not work out. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let me just drop all these. So I'm just going to have to do it one log at a time. So this is going to take a bit longer, probably. Uh, let me get the essentials book back. S N. There we go. Settings. And where is it? Tree replanting. Tree breaker off. And I'm going to go sleep real quick. So I'll be back at one time. Le well, well, I need to be level 5, is it? To uh, it's level 5 for the first. Yeah, level 5. Uh, I'll be back when I'm level 5 Lumberjack, and then I'll show off the first ability. Okay, oh. Okay, I'm back, I'm level uh, 5, uh, um, wood, Lumberjack. Uh, let's get this open. So, regrowth. So, yeah, this is the... So, this is the bone meal one, and the replanting tree, so... Selectability, and I'm just going to upgrade it uh, real quick. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Alright, so. I need to... Oh, yeah. I just had a bit of a brain fire there. So, yeah, it took me about two and a half stacks of logs. Level up, so game mode one. Let's get some. Oh, also, I had to change it from oak to birch because I think the. Uh, I think your building was always just constantly breaking oak for some reason. Anyway, and bune. I mean, it would have been a problem if it to level me up as well, but it wasn't leveling me up. So, yeah. Game mode zero. So, hmm. Oh yeah, you saw there we planted the uh, sapling, and I broke it. I'm not getting any bone. Oh yeah, there we go. I've got some bone meal back.
didn't get any bone meal bags on that one. But yeah, not the worst ability, but yeah. Also not the greatest. Also I'm about to level up. Come on. There you go. I'm Explorer level 5. So yeah, not the greatest ability. Not the greatest ex ability ever, but not a terrible ability. Alright, so I'm going to go level up to, what was it, 15? Pretty sure it was 15. Uh, yeah, 15 for the lumber jet, lumber look. Anyway, be a be. Okay, so, I have got to up to level 15. Uh, if I could just get a bit, bit, there we go. So now we have Lumberjack. Lumber look, sorry, goddamn. Uh, chance to drop XP. Now, this one is kind of cool because it will help you like level up your other abilities and this one. Just by, you know, giving you XP. But. Uh, so it is kind of cool. So as you can see, I am getting XP from this. And you can hear it. Which is kind of cool, but... Yeah. I mean, if you have a mending axe, it helps. Actually, as well. So as you can see, it's fully repaired my uh, Omni tool. So yeah, it is a cool ability, but not super useful. Anyway, I'll be back when I'm level 30. This is going to take a while. Um, but yeah, bye-bye. Well, that took a while. But uh, I did it. I'm finally level 30 in Lumberjack. Level 30. Uh, so, yeah, tree fella. Uh, when all logs connected to a log that to the player breaks, it will also be broken. The ability lasts five seconds. After this ability, it will be on cooldown for 90 seconds. So, tree fella, let me just uh, level this up. So, less cooldown, more duration, less cooldown, more duration, and less cooldown. So if I break that, oh right, yeah, there we go. Let's actually test this on a real tree. So you didn't really get a good look at how it works there. At least it didn't infinitely break it like the, uh, like in the essential scheme, mood one. So let's get a, uh, oh wait, I want oak. Now let's get some dark oak. Nah, let's get oak. Let's get oak. Let's, and I also want to get some jungle. And bone. And bone meal. Also, doing this, I filled up my, uh, draw, my birch drawer with a birch log. With birch logs and bit my birch plank drawer with birch planks. So yeah, it, I had to mine a lot of blocks to get this. So game mode zero. Plant a sapling. Watch it grow. Oh, I've got. I needed to. Uh, 
activate the ability. Yeah, this needs work. There you go, that, it worked for that time. Uh, not super reliable. How does it work with, how, how does it handle a two by two jungle? Right, so. Oh, the cool, the cool down is so long. Like, the cooldown is way too long. Like, come on! I, I guess for a cube maker this might be good? Yeah, I've got a lot of criticisms of the uh, lumberjack one. To make in a minute. Let's see how this handles. Right, tree fellow enabled. You gotta be kidding me, come on! Cut! No, okay, right. So here's my criticisms of this, uh, of this one. Uh, the tree fellow isn't very good. Like, it just doesn't uh, work very well. The, the lumber look is, you know, like I said, it's useful if you have a mending uh, Axe, but not super useful, and the, the regrowth is not really that useful, like at all. Like you get the sapling replanting, which is kind and useful, I guess, but there's all the other ones that do that for free. So, uh, how I would fix this is firstly, I just upgrade the tree. I move the tree fella to the top. Make it the first one you unlock. That's the first thing I do. Second thing I do. Get rid of the cooldown. Make this just an ability you activate and it's just passive and always active and you can, you know, on that and, de and you can deactivate it. And instead of making this have a, uh, you know, cooldown duration, make it, change it so that it increases the number of blocks that it can break. So here, so like say default, uh, it would say like break like five blocks and then like level one plus five blocks, level two plus five plus like five blocks, level three plus five blocks, level four, I, well I, you know, I'm not, you know, just make it break more and more blocks so that uh, uh, when it's max level it can, well I'd say by like mid level, I'd say by about, I'd say by about uh, level three, so like yeah base level it'll be able to like handle a normal tree level one uh when it's level one level zero so yeah level zero is like a not small oak tree level one uh would be like a bigger oak tree uh level two would be like a dark oak tree that has like a bunch more blocks and like level three it should be able should be able to handle a uh a two you know a tall soup you know one of the big uh, uh, spruce or jungle trees, like the two by two trees. Then level four and five would be for late game when you have a uh, uh, tree farm and it makes that so going into a cube maker. And then make that work, make the uh, make it so that the uh, logs are broken by not only this uh, uh, tree, like tree capitator or tree breaker or whatever you want to call it. Uh, make make logs broken broken by that to drop uh, uh, give you lumber exp, but also make it so that it works with other add-ons tree breakers as well. Make that those add-ons tree breakers give you exp because it it, it is so much. Like I said, I've like I've had to break thousands of logs for this, and uh, thankfully I had my uh, command block here to do that for me. Otherwise. Just like bone mealing trees and just like chopping down them manually would just take way too long. So having it so that the uh, tree breakers, tree slash tree capitators or whatever you want to call them, uh, give you the 
Lumber EXP will go a long way in making it a lot more bearable. But yeah, other than that, uh, oh yeah, uh, the other abilities. Uh, keeping the lumber look, that's fine. Keep that there. It'll be nice for like uh, repairing your. Oh, oh, also something else you could do with this. If it's like the, it's like uh, you can make it so that it does uh, durability damage to your tools. So maybe you can make the last two be like minus X amount of, you know. So make it so that by a level. By default, it to does uh, uh, one durability damage for each slog it breaks. But then make this one be like, oh, minus uh, uh, ten, minus like ten percent durability damage, uh, and another like, and then like minus well, minus twenty percent durability damage and minus thirty uh, percent durability damage. That that way you get like that way you breaking like half, like half the box are broken for free because it's doing like half the amount of durability damage. But yeah, on to the next one. Skills. Farming. The farming skill can be leveled uh, by uh, breaking crops, uh, crops, uh, blocks. Uh, breaking crop blocks. Crops will uh, give 4 XP. You can uh, you can access this uh, menu uh, through add-on book or by the right clicking uh, while sneaking with a hoe. Passive, do you have a chance of an additional item drop? So you've got Farmer's Look, Multi Harvest, and Super Fertilizer. So I'm gonna get to level 5. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna uh, do this. So uh, hold on. Uh, team. Mood 1. S uh, E S S E and there we go. So I'm gonna put crop yeah, crop replantings on. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of farming I guess. Um who so I'll be back once I'm level 5 in farming. Alright, so I'm back and I'm level 5 in farming. So, let's take a look. So, farmers look. Uh, level 0, when this ability is selected there is a 50% chance that crops uh, you break drop XP orbs. You can upgrade this ability. So yeah, this is just this. This is basically the same as the uh, log chopper one. So if I just level this up real quick, punch that. It drops AXP. and that's it. Like I said, it's. Uh, It'll be useful, you know, if you're uh, to help you level up, but not the most useful ability in the world. Right, I'll be back when I'm level fifteen. Yay! Okay, that took a bit of time, but not too bad. I basically just put a random tick speed up to hundred and uh, just added. Uh, Smashing some crops. Um, it'd probably be a lot worse if I had to do about random tick speed 100. Damn it. Well, let's take a look at this then, shall we? Ah, the first one. All right. Yeah, we had a look at farmers' look. Now we're on to multi harvest. So, when a player breaks a crop while this ability is enabled, all other crops in a five by five of a radius around the, the broken crop will also be broken. The, the ability lasts five seconds. After enabling this ability, it will be on cooldown for ninety seconds. 
You can upgrade this ability so to increase, reduce cooldown, increase length of time, yeah. So select ability. Level it up to max. There we go. So, bye. Oh, yeah, so I need to. There we go. Yeah, but it just breaks them and it doesn't replant them, so then you have to go ahead and replant them all yourself. And it doesn't and it doesn't just break uh, fully grown crops, it breaks all crops. Including crops that her machine with that sign. Um kinda not super useful if it doesn't also replant them. Because now I have to go back and forth, back and forth, replanting all of this. Yeah. Not super useful. It would be cool if it also replanted them. Because it's not, not super great, but definitely useful. Uh, how much? Oh, wow, there's a bunch of cactus here. No, oh, wow. There was more cactus than I thought there was. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, no. Chuck the. Yeah, over there. But yeah, now I am going to have to level up to uh, uh, level what, 30. So, to get a super fertilizer, so yeah, uh, I'll be right back. I just did a lot of farming. Multiple inventories worth of farming. I still have the sealed device here. Observer sees seeds. It sends sig red stone signal to the dispensers. The dispensers found a bone meal, so I gave them a lot of bone meal. I used a lot of bone meal. Hey, bone they basically instantly bone mealers. Yes, hello, Lily. I, I am trying to record a video, you know. Yes, I do like kisses, thank you. <laughs> yes, I love you too. You want a sweetie? You want a good girl, sweetie, Lily? Here you go. Right, now that I don't have a dog trying to stick her tongue in my face. Uh, back to the video. Uh, what was I... I was doing a thing. One day about bear. Oh, and I also turn the volume off because a lot of crap breaking. It's super fertilizer. When a player bone meals a crop, uh, while this ability is enabled, all other crops in a 3x3 three three radius around the other bone meal crop will also be bone meal. And additionally, uh, the uh, bone meal uh, will uh, fully grow the crop. The ability lasts for five seconds. You can increase. Excuse me, you can increase how long it lasts and the cooldown. Um, I'm just gonna level this up to max. And let's get some bone meal out of here. I have way too many. Uh, let's just. Let's just break a few of these, so we have an area of ungrown crops. Test this out on. Smashy, smashy, smash.
almost done. Alright, so now just right click twice with that. I forgot to put the bone meal in my hand. Right click. Right click. Yeah, it's a cool ability, definitely useful. Uh, do you know why it's so, so... Well, it does give you a bunch of free bone meal, because otherwise it would cost a ton to, like, bone meal or that, so... Yes, it is pretty useful. So, my final verdict on this is... Farmers look, like I said, decent. It'll, like, repair your mending her to get you some XP. That, some XP, that's fine. Multi-harvest needs to all, should also replant the seeds. I mean, even if it's just, um... Even if it's just, like, a ability and it's, like, maybe if you use level 1 and level 2 together to make that min a minus 10 second cooldown and make level 1, make it so I replant seeds, that'll be fine. Um... I don't know why you even add a cooldown, maybe just get rid of the cooldown. And maybe... Maybe just like get rid of the cooldown. Cooldown and just like make it so like level 1 makes it replant. Uh, and yeah, I guess you could also just get rid of the duration and just make it a... Uh, a passive ability. Make level 2... In so and then can have like level two increase the area, level three increase the area, level four increase the area, and like level five increase the area or something like that. Yeah, so uh, you could definitely like uh, rework that to be for it to be a bit better, I think. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have any complaints about it. It's just oh, I do have one more suggestion though about that. Um, you should make it so that different crops give you different exp. So. Uh, beetroot gives you the least amount of EXP because it's the worst crop in the entire game. Then wheat because it's de de decent. And then, uh, potato and carrot should give you uh, the most EXP. Because, uh, you know, they, uh, they're pretty good, uh, good but uh, potatoes can be cooked, made into cooked potato, which give you XP. And is a decent source of food. But gold cows can be made into cow golden cows, which is better food, but you need gold, which is more resource intensive, so... Um... I think those two are on par, in my opinion. But yeah! Uh, what's, uh... What's the next skill? Fighting! The fighting skill uh, can be leveled up by killing monsters. You can access this uh, menu through add-on or by uh, double right clicking the sword while sneaking. Uh, it gives you extra, uh, and then you have like abilities. So uh, I did. I never tested this armor against the warden. So I'm gonna go do that. In a sec, I just gonna empty this out, give myself a diamond sword, because it doesn't work with Tinker's Construct Swords, give a P diamond sword. So let me summon a some lad. Also, how much damage can you do to me in this armor? No! And I two shot ya. Oh my god, that gave me next to no EXP. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Um. What about Ender Dragon? How much XP does the Ender Dragon give you? So I'll just summon a ton of Ender Dragons and kill a bunch of Ender Dragons until keep killing them until they level up. I'm on fire. I fell off. Oh, oh. Right. So 
Um, and uh, I get. Yeah. Oh, your bones down there. Oh, Lily, don't sit on the keep. Oh. You did. Wait, right, where'd, where'd she go? TP at E type equals N. Oh, wait, she's pitching. That didn't even level me up. Okay. Uh, it would appear that it doesn't matter what you're killing, as long as you're killing something, it'll give you the exact same EXP. So, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna. Oh, wait, I need to go to game mode one. Give at P com. Command, repeat, command block. TP at E type equals, how do you spell Enderman? It's all one word, Enderman. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Always active. And I'm just going to step them. But I'm just going to also have a command block here. Some. Enderman. Some an Enderman. Always active. In zero. And stab the heck out of these guys. Actually, what I should do, before this gets out of hand, is pull out on these redstone and get a lever. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. keep the game muted because if I don't I'm just gonna hear a bunch of endermans and I don't even, I don't think you guys really want that either so no no audio for right now um so level five uh shift double click I went a little bit. life drain so th this is this is probably very something. When uh, the ability is active, the player will uh, be healed by twenty five percent of the damage it, they deal. The ability lasts for ten seconds. After enabling this ability, it will be on cooldown for ninety seconds, and you can reduce cool, uh, increase duration, reduce cooldown, increase healing, uh, in increase duration, and reduce cooldown. This is actually a pretty cool ability. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, just gonna level this up to max. 
There we go. So, I can't really show it off with this arm along. Hold on, control. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, damn it. Three, four. So I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. I just punch in one of these dudes, getting it angry at me. There we go. And now, if I just carefully stab him. Oh, wait, it would help if I activated the ability. Alright, life drain is active. There we go. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna put my arm on now. This place is horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna be back when I'm level, what was it, 15? Yep. It would, it would be cool if this had uh, cross-compatibility cross with Tinkers, though. Anyway, so I'll be back when I'm level 15 in combat. They've been dropping so much loot, I had to go into creative to hoover it all up because my game was lagging so much. Anyway, I'm level fighting, fighting level 15 now. What's this, a chain strike? When this ability is active, the damage it dealt to an attack to monster will carry on to the next monster if there is another one in a 5 block radius. The damage dealt will decrease by 30%. The damage can be carried on to up to 5 other monsters. The ability lasts 10 seconds. After enabling this ability, it will be on cooldown for 60 seconds. Uh, and if you level up it, uh, less cooldown. Da less damage decrease, more duration, less cooldown, less damage decrease. So let's level this up. And then I'll activate it, stab some endermans. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my sword and my crossbow. Get damn ender pills. So I can. And then, oh yeah, you can definitely see that multiple are dying with a single strike because I've got like strength on and this is a really strong sword. It's a bit hard to see, but uh, yeah, and it's still going for another five seconds. Definitely this also adds on to like the uh, XP that you get from just stabbing them. So this is going to actually be helpful for me when I'm leveling up. Get to level 30! Okay, I'll see you guys when I got to level 30 combat. Okay, so. After a lot more killing, I'm level 25. Yeah. Yeah, man, I keep forgetting that. Alright, I'm back again. Uh, let me just move away from him. Right, this time, I'm level 30, just over. Uh, so, next up is Horde Crush. For every other monster with a five block, within a five block radius around the, the, the damage at monster, the damage at delta will increase by 50 with a chance of 5%. This ability is always active. Okay, so basically the more hostile mobs around, the more damage you do. We have a 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, so 80% chance. Oh yeah. So increased it's increased by 80% with a chance of extra damage of 15. That's a pretty cool uh, ability, but kind of a niche thing, because you're not really going to be around that many hostile mobs, so it's going to really make that much difference. God damn, that's a lot of vendor pills. Um, let me just get out of here.
and sleep. Yeah. So you're not probably not going to be using that. Oh, it's not going to be like super OP. It's probably going to be like oh, there's a couple of extra hostile mobs around. This uh, it'll boost your attack damage a bit. So yeah. Uh, what? So what do I think about this? So life drain. Yeah, pretty cool. Chain strike, pretty cool. Horde crusher. Kind of lame, like, not really... Not really... Um... Not really that good in my opinion. But anyway, let's go on to the next skill, which is... There's a lot of skills here. Uh, Blast Master. The Blastmaster skill can be leveled up by killing creepers, uh, priming TNT, or taking explosive damage. You can access this menu through the add on the book or by double right clicking with gunpowder while sneaking. As uh, a 0% chance to regain any health lost by explosion damage, this increase as you level. So I basically just gotta explode myself. I mean, that I can do. Easy. Alright, so if I just go into game mode 1. Also, let me get rid of these ender pills. There they are. Oh. Just dump a bunch of these in here. So give at p com repeating command block, and I'll just get some obsidian. gonna some someone oh and if I is it just right so if I some on TNT there yeah Mm, actually, that's probably not the best idea because I could get stuck in here with the TNT not being able to break that. So, well, that's right. Summon TNT, wiggle, wiggle one, wiggle. Always active. He made zero. quite work. Um, this is going to be a difficult one to do. So, priming TNT, I guess. I could just like place TNT and light over flint and steel. Lin
Flint and steel. TNT. Yeah. Oh, well, does it? Does it still go up if my... Yeah, it does. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to mine straight down. Keep on going. Activate for deep slate, I guess. Doesn't really matter, I'm just digging a hole if you put TNT down in. This could actually be useful because um if you're doing uh some mining for Neverite. Okay, so armor's not helping. Hold on. There we go. So if you're doing mining from Neverite and you're play and you're exploding a large TNT, then this could be good for that. God damn it! So just dig all the way up here. Oh. There we go. And I just like that. Hey, I level up. Okay, I'll. Just took me straight to level eight. And the water ruined all my fun. Why does water have to ruin my fun? Oh, there's an underwater, under, okay, underground water cave being annoying. I think it's me. Yeah, it's made it all the way down to bedrock. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be exploding a bunch of TNT. But I'm at level five. I've passed level five now, so I should be able to uh, to uh, skills last master. Wait, level one. Oh no, that must be. Oh yeah, let's explore another black. Ah, oh, god damn it! Right, yeah, no, this is. I'm not going to do this, no. Like, that is... Like, when it uh, when I thought it could, like, uh, chain together and it, that would work, then I was like, oh, yeah, that'll be fine. I just place down a bunch of TNT and then explode all together, but no. Um, having to explode these individually, that'll just take way too long. I want to get this video out to this century. So... Um, I'm just going to go to the book, go to guy, uh, skills, blast master, let's see, so kaboom, uh, when enabled this ability uh, while looking at a marble player, this entity will blow up, watch out though, the explosions will leave a crater by default, this explosion will break blocks, that, why would you want that? So, oh, you look at something and they blow up. Like, why? 
Blast Shield, when enabling this ability, all entities within a 5 block range will be knocked away from the player. After enabling this, this ability will be on the cooldown for 60 seconds. Eh. That's a meh ability. And TNT Boost, when enabling this ability, the player will be launched into the air and slowly fall back down. After enabling this ability, it will be on cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but no, just I wouldn't bother with this. If I were you, I wouldn't go on my way here to, for that. Next up is Explore, and I'm already level 8. Skill can be leveled by travelling around the world. Oh, something I forgot to mention earlier with the... Uh, with the uh, with the combat, the fighting skill that should uh, give you that should you know give you more level up exp uh, depending on the mob you kill. So like harder mobs give you more exp, just like in regular Minecraft. So like you know uh, the end of Dragon and the, the Warden shouldn't give you as much exp as killing a zombie, basically. Um, for every five blocks, uh, travel, you can access this menu by blah, blah, blah. Once you reach level five, you will be able to double jump. The jump strength will increase. So I can double jump apparently. So if I, uh, just dump these out of my inventory. And unequip my armor. And wait for the uh, effects to wear off. Yeah, you do a little double jump. And this gets bit apparent. Like I said, it'll get bigger the more you level up. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of creepers down there. I could just kill a bunch of creepers to level up. Anyway. So yeah, that's a cool little, uh... Noisy. That is a cool, uh, skill to have, a little double jump. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, but uh, can I jump up this block? EFF -F clear. At P clear. Oh, well. uh, yeah, I can just barely jump up two blocks at level eight. Doesn't seem too difficult to level this up. Um, I've just been running around. I've not really been doing much. So what I want to do is I want to get go into game mode one. And get myself an Eli... And some rock. Some firework rockets. And I wanna see if this works with Elytra. So if it does this, it's gonna be extremely easy for you to level up. Just fly around with some rockets. Yeah, it does appear to work with. Elytra, maybe. It says every five blocks you travel. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe if I take my arm off, it'll work a bit better. Yeah, there we go. So let's look at skills real quick. So the Explorer, the first one you level, unlock... Uh, swift step. When enabling this ability, the player will receive a speed and jump boost one for 10 seconds. After enabling this ability, will be on cooldown for 10 seconds. Uh, swift step. Level it up. Level it up. Level it up. Level it up. I don't know how you're supposed to activate the ability though. You can access this menu uh, through the island buckle by double tap right clicking with a saddle or boat. So if I just get a boat. Yeah, there you go. Swift step. 
That gives you a speed four, jump boost four for a little bit. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go fly around for a bit so, and then level up to level 15 and then I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, no, I can do this. I uh, Flying with Elytra was too slow, so I was like, oh, I'll just give myself, you know, max speed. I run around a bit, but no, like, look, watch. I'm like running from one end of my uh, base to the other. And I'm barely gaining any uh, thing. I don't know, it's just like failing to uh, register how many blocks I'm traveling because uh, I'm going so fast or something, but it's just not, it's just not realistic. This is gonna, like I said, I wanted to get this out this, this video out this millennium and uh, this is taking way too long. So I'm just going to read off the uh, different things you get from this, the different skills. So from exploration you get the swift, as you get mount call. When enabling this ability a monitor for the player will be spawned. The mount will uh, dis uh, despawn once the player leaves it. Uh, so you can increase the speed, increase jump height, increase it, uh, yeah. So you get a horse, and you can, and it gets better. Home coming. When enabling this ability, the player has a has to stand still for ten seconds while being teleported back to their spawn point. To the ability will consume a five end of. Oh my god, that is way too underpowered. Like, not only do you have to stand still for ten whole seconds, you have to carry around the end of pills with you. No. Why would you do that? No, right. To fix this, basically make it so that this doesn't require render builds. Like having to stand still for 10 seconds, that's fine. Then just have this uh, um, reduce, the, uh, the, reduce the amount of time you have to stand still for. So like one second per level or something. So you only have to stand still for like five seconds. Just no. No, uh, mount call's fine. No. Uh, then there's the uh, uh, pyromaniac. Uh, the power of skill by killing blazes, uh, setting uh, light to things, or taking uh, fire damage. You can access this menu through uh, the item book or by uh, double right clicking uh, with a flint and steel while sneaking. Uh, chance to regain any health lost from fire damage. So if I you just get give at p flint flint and steel yeah this one's not too bad just gonna go through a lot of flint and steels. I'm not just gonna again. I'm not gonna stand here all day just uh, right going through flint and steel after flint and steel. And seeing as how this is like seems to be like one of the side that ones, I'll just take a look at this. A flame burst I've unlocked, which so I can actually show you that. When enabling this ability, a flame so will burst out from the player for two seconds. They will uh, light anyone they uh, pass on fire. After uh, enabling this ability, it will be on cooldown for sixty seconds. How do you activate? Oh, I guess it's for flint and steel. So, give myself another flint and steel. I set myself on fire. Oh my god, that is so long of a cooldown. Yeah, no, that, that's just way too long of a cooldown. That cooldown needs to be reduced. Fire rain when the fireballs will rain from the sky. 
Be aware though where they are. Uh, be aware though they. After, so, Chunk Attack's missing there. After enable this ability, it will be on cooldown for 120 seconds. Christ. There's Magma Walker. When the lava below the player will be turned into Magma Blocks. There's so. The Magma Blocks damage you though. So you'll have to be. Unless you're sneak. Unless you're sneaking or you have Frost Walker. That's just a bear. That. Pyromaniac, just like Blastmaster, is a bad. is not very good. Archery! Uh, can I move by shoots now? I was able to receive XP, so. It's not working. Does it have to be a regular bow? Give that P bow. So it doesn't even work with a crossbow. And you just spam right click and it levels you up. Ugh, yeah, I just didn't have time to just like do that for all eternity. Also you can't do that with that, so you have to go into skills. So let's just take a look at the archery skill. So you have triple shot. Uh, the next bow. So yeah, when you charge it, the next bow shot will shoot three hours instead of one. Shooting will only consume one hour though. By your default, the explosions on level five will break blocks, but you can disable explosions after block damage on in the add-on settings. Cool. Reduce cooldown, small explosion on impact at level 5. And there's explosive arrows. When uh, this ability is charged, the next uh, bow shot will uh, shoot an explosive arrow. By default, the explosion will break blocks. You can change this in the thing. Reduce cooldown, bigger explosion, reduce cooldown, bigger explosion, reduce cooldown. And there's arrow shield. While this ability is active, arrows spawn in a circle around the player. The, wi the uh, wind the the arrows create keeps mobs away. You that uh, five seconds. We do scroll down and increase your the time and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't see. I, like I wanna, I do wanna like try and show off as much as I can, but it's just too time consuming. But I gotta get this video out today, and I got, and I don't really wanna be spending my entire day just stood here spamming right click to fight just to level up. I've already done several grindy things and it's taken me most of the day to do that, uh, but yeah. Hunting. Hunting can be leveled up by kill, um, killing animals. You different amounts of uh, EXP based on what animal you kill. Passive animals, there are a 0% chance to add to the additional right and drop, abilities, blah 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 blah. To your saturation! Oh, uh, excuse me. When this, uh, when uh, uh, enabling this ability for the player will receive saturation one for five seconds after it will be go on cooldown, increase duration, reduce cooldown, and then it goes up to like saturation three. Uh, double right clicking shears, lever, or a feather while sneaking. So I assume uh, if I get, if I give myself a give a P fev. Feather. Yeah, that's also how you activate your abilities. Uh, then you've got an animal radar. When enabled around you, the player will scan the different animals. This is why. Like, animals just spawn above ground. You'll be able to find them fairly easily. That's almost entirely pointless. Like maybe if you're looking for goats on the mountain, that might be useful, but I get really, I think so. Aim assist. While this ability is active, any arrow the player shoots will automatically be redirected to an entity within a five block range. The ability lasts 10 seconds. Why is this in here, but not in the, uh, 
archery one. Like, seriously, just get rid of, like, uh, one of these. Like, any one of these could be get rid of. Like, arrow shield doesn't... Like, get rid of arrow shield. And I'll put it in there. And then in here, I don't know, make it... I don't know, give something else. Just That doesn't really make more sense for that to be in there. But, yeah. So, you've heard all everything good damn bad I've had to say about this. What do I think about it? Yeah, it's cool. Got some flaws with it. And I think it needs a bit more work with, with like, the balancing and all that. Because there are just, like, some stuff that needs to be buffed, some stuff that needs... Well, I don't really think anything needs to be nerfed because uh, there's no nothing in here that really screams OP to me. So, yeah... Um, Lily! So yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see, hope to see you guys in, in the next video. And, uh, uh, it, and if, you know, Discord, there's a Discord that, uh, link description in down in the description. Join that to have a, uh, members, uh, uh, well, if you want to join that, I hope you guys all did enjoy, and bye-bye.